Hey skiers, it's Bob with SkiEssentials.com. Welcome to our 2024 ski test. We've got a Vocal Revolt 104 for you today. This ski returns unchanged except for a graphics update. Um, pretty nice little snake there. I'm not sure if that goes together, but we do have better pictures of it all together. Um, you know, pretty sharp new graphic from Vocal. Uh, really kind of fits in with kind of the theme of progressing forward with this modern free ride shape. Uh, and that's what we've really liked about this Revolt 104 over the past few years, is that it just has this innovative shape and profile that sets it apart from the rest of the skis in the category. Uh, it's a little bit interesting because there's some, you know, there's not a whole lot of crossover with skis like this, uh, just in the industry in general. Uh, I think if people are looking for a wider twin tip uh, or a twin tip in general, they're either looking for kind of a mid 90s versatile ski, uh, kind of like the, the narrower 96, or they're just gonna go super wide uh, and get something that's more free ride and floaty and fun. Uh, this 104 kind of gets a little bit lost in that twin tip process, uh, you know, not for a, a, a lack of effort or engineering or anything like that. Uh, this thing skis extremely well uh, and holds up to a lot of different uses and applications. So it's pretty darn versatile. Um, it is built with their multi-layer wood core uh, consisting of poplar and beech stringers. And that's about it. Not a whole lot going on in terms of, you know, they save their technology for, you know, their Deacon series and the, Vo and the uh, Mantra and the Blaze series. Uh, these twin tips are definitely meant to be just a little bit more plain. Uh, and that equates to sturdiness and stability. So there is a bit thicker of a core profile than we see in some other skis. So that really gives it its sturdy and well-rounded feel. Um, it does come at the cost of weight a little bit. Uh, this is the 180 and we're at 1960 grams. So just under 2000 grams for a ski without metal in it. Uh, you will see heavier 104s out there for sure. But this thing just has a nice, even progressive flex. Super easy to turn. A lot of that has to do with that, that tapered shape. That was kind of the thing that stood out to us over the years is that this 104 really just has an interesting taper shape to it. Uh, more so in the tail than the, in the shovel, uh, but still that widest part is brought down a little bit. Great for flotation, uh, more playful skiing. And then in the tail, we really see that taper start to get more pronounced. So that widest part is brought well down into the, into the tail of the ski here, allowing for just super smooth tail release uh, when you're in softer snow. So really, really playful finish to the turn on this ski. Uh, and that really hits a lot of people right where, they, right where they like it. You know, if you're in soft snow and you have a playful style, uh, there's nothing worse than having, you know, a hooky tail. Uh, this thing will just drift right out of turns, does a great job smearing, skidding uh, all throughout that, that softer snow. We do have that nice positive camber underfoot. Pretty surprising amount of energy out of this ski. A lot of that is due to the fact that that camber is in there. Uh, and then we have a decent amount of rocker in the tail. And that kind of aligns with that taper shape. Rocker starts all the way down here. Not like an exorbitant amount of splay, but certainly enough for both uh, you know, inbounds freestyle terrain park and pipe, as well as out of bounds you know, switch takeoffs and landings and stuff like that. The shovel is where we see more of that drama come into fruition. So the rocker starts all the way down here and just a pretty huge splay. Uh, this has more notes of the wider skis in the Revolt line, uh, really just focuses on keeping the shovel of the ski out of the snow, makes a lot of sense. Uh, as this is one of the better and more playful floaters in the 104 range. It does have Vocal's 3D radius side cut, uh, but it's not as dramatic as what we see in like Blaze or Mantra and that style of ski. So in the middle portion here, we're looking at about 19 meters and then about 23 and 22 in the tips and tails. So there's not a huge variance in uh, turn shape from tip to tail like we see in some other Vocal skis. And I think that's just meant to keep this thing a little bit more predictable uh, and it makes sense in softer snow for sure. And it also helps that it's a twin tip with that freestyle, uh, freestyle acumen uh, to go along with it. Uh, so psyched to see this ski back. Make sure you check out this 2024 Vocal Revolt 104 here at SkiEssentials.com and we'll see you out there on the hill. Bye.